OBS provides REST APIs so that users can access OBS anytime, anywhere, and on any internet device. It allows all developers to access the same data storage infrastructure that is highly scalable, reliable, secure, and cost-effective. Assume that we are developing a web application which needs to access data in OBS. The procedure of making API calls is as follows. Obtain the access key. Obtain the access domain name. Construct an HTTP request. Obtain the access key. OBS uses a case and S case in user accounts for signature verification to ensure that only authorized accounts can access specified OBS resources. Log in to the Huawei Cloud website and click Console. Enter the username and password to log in to the console. Click the username in the upper right corner and select My Credential. Click Access Keys. and then click Add Access Key. Enter the login password and verification code and click OK. Now the access key file is automatically downloaded. In the downloaded Excel file, Record the obtained AK and SK and keep them properly. Obtain the access domain name. Region and endpoint information is necessary for sending HTTP request. Log in to Huawei Cloud Developer Center. Click Storage and locate Object Storage Service OBS. Construct an HTTP request. When a client is sending an HTTP request to OBS, the message header must contain the SK, request time, request type, and other information of the signature. In an HTTP request, the signature format is as follows. Access key ID indicates the AK obtaining step 1. To obtain the value of signature, perform the following calculation. Next, we will show you how to construct HTTP requests with examples of creating buckets, listing buckets, and uploading objects. First of all, configure two variables and set their values to the obtained AK and SK. Now let's construct a request for creating a bucket. The information commanded out here is the request parameters of the Create Bucket API we obtained from the API Reference and the Help Center. In this video, we use Aperture HTTP client to send requests. You can also choose another one according to your actual needs. Here we configure a variable request time to indicate the date in the header field. RFC 1123 is used for the date format. Note that the request sending time must be set to the current system time. This helps to convert the current system time to a character string in the required format. The HTTP request method for bucket creation is put. For this part, enter the value of host specified in the previous sample request. Add date header to the variable request time we defined before. Then add the authorization signature header. 
Here are examples parameters for constructing a request character string we obtained from the API reference. These three parameters are not required in this example, so leave them blank. The requested OBS resource is bucket 001, so enter bucket 001 here as required. Then configure the parameter canonical string. The combination of the preceding parameters configure for the request. Print the signature string string to sign. Use the obtained SK and signature string canonical string to calculate the signature. The method of calculating the signature is as follows. Add the authorization signature header. The format of the authorization signature header is as follows. Send an HTTP request to the server. Printed request and response messages as required. Let's run this, and here you can see the request and response messages we printed out. The three lines are automatically inserted by the client and related to the HTTP client we used here. Then let's call the API for listing all bucket to view bucket 001 we created before. The URI format of API for bucket listing is different from that of API for bucket creation. Note that listing buckets is a GET request. The method of configuring the date and authorization signature headers for bucket listing is similar to that for bucket creation. Calculate the signature, add the authorization signature header, and send an HTTP request. Print the request and response messages as required. Let's run this, and here you can see the request and response messages we printed out. The return bucket 001 is the exact bucket we just created. At the end, we provide a code sample of uploading objects for a simple explanation. Similarly, let's create a request to upload an object to a bucket. The URI of the object to be uploaded must contain the target region name, bucket name, and object name. Note that the object name here is the name of the object after it is uploaded to OBS, not the name of the file on your local disk. In this example, we use the put method to upload an object. The method of configuring the date and authorization signature headers for object uploading is similar to that for bucket creation. But here we need to specify the target bucket name and object name, which should be the same as the URI information above. The method of signature calculation and format of signature header are the same as those for other APIs. The difference is that we need to specify a local file to be uploaded for uploading an object. Print request and response messages as we did before. So far, the most basic HTTP request construction for uploading objects is completed. We can try to view the results.